How's it going everybody? It's your boy Ringo Flats back again with some more Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, last time we uh, did a flying lesson, we played a bunch of games, we saved Neville, Hello, Hermione. Do you know what lesson we've and uh, we heard a snake. We saw nearly headless up. Nick got destroyed. Mm, and uh, I'll meet you on the third floor outside the defense we met, the we met with D Dumbledore. He let us know that uh, he doesn't believe we're guilty. And uh, yeah, I guess we're going to Professor Lockhart's first class. Why am I going this way? <laughs> So I assume this is going to be the first, like, besides the, uh, greenhouse, or not the greenhouse experience, but besides the, uh, Whomping Willow experience, this is going to be, like, the first major platforming mission, and I, I'm excited for that. Man, I still want to know why Hufflepuff is purple in this game, instead of yellow. It's a little floor three. It'd be funny if they did like a uh, if they did a Muggle Studies class you had to do in this game, and it's just the most boring like three hour level, just like listening oh, to Professor okay. Ben's. Okay, I, I trust you. Why is Harry late to everything? <laughs> Is that Professor Snap too? Can everyone see me? Can you all hear me? Excellent. This term I shall be teaching dueling. Let me introduce you to my assistant, yeah. Professor Snape. Now, Harry Potter, if you'd like to come forward, the experience. Does Snape usually have green eyes in through here? Most of his forms, although he had black all eyes. Have to do is to find the Expelliarmus spellbook somewhere beyond the portrait. I, I don't mean like Once punch in the face, black the guys. I mean like the Expelliarmus spell will dark be yours brown black guys. To use as you see fit. I know y'all thought I meant like he got beat up, but I didn't. Okay, so calm down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to yell at you like that. I shouldn't. I shouldn't act like that. You know, I, I'm not. I'm not me when I'm hungry. Expelliarmus, I like the way he says it in this one. Expelliarmus. Oh, good lord. Like, what if Harry didn't move out of the way? What if he just got crushed right there? Are they going to come look for me? Why is that there in the first place? I need to know. I guess I don't get that luxury. Now, for some reason, I don't remember having to collect uh, the challenge shields or whatever they're called. I call, I think I call them crests, but I don't think I have to uh, find those in this one. Flippin' dough. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I think I remember. These things suck, I'm pretty sure. Now... Come on, Harry, aim. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> Harry, aim. Okay. I think I know what I must do. I don't remember. 
remember this part. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Did I d automatically drink my wig and weld potion? Make it stop. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I think I just actually have to kill him a few times. Okay, I think I got those. Let's deal with these ones. Just run away, let him chase me, and then shoot. There we go. Okay, so I was just being stupid. That's what the game was telling me. Typical. Slice. That's a door. Let's see what's on the other side first and make sure there's no, like, ca wizard cards or something like that. Excuse me. Ate a singular ice cream cone, and I have like the weird like burp hiccups. Aha! Revealed from your secrets. Oh, cool! And I don't have to get my vial out to get the wig and weld now. You see, they refined it. They refined it. I'm also not having too bad of time with the camera. I think the only time the camera's bad is when you're in those hallways, like the back corridors of the halls, and you have to uh, get past those stupid uh, fire crabs, whatever they're called, gang cramp. It's the sound they make, they go gang cramp. But uh, in like most situations, it's not, the camera's actually pretty good. Like, far better than the last game's camera, I think, at least. But the last game's camera wasn't that bad at all. The only problem with the last game was just the controls are kind of janky. Like, the jumping and stuff, it wasn't smooth. It's just, the level design was good, but it also seemed just a little bit low quality. Okay, do I need to sever the lines? I assume so. Come on, Harry. I don't like that whooshing sound. A scobble, a scobble. Die. <laughs> Dirty scobble. Ah, more scobbles. <laughs> Die. Ah. Uh -uh. Run. Ah. <laughs> they throw beans at me. Ow. What? For the chest. A cauldron cake. And it still does a terrible amount of- gosh, I don't like seeing six of those things, that's scary. I like to- oh, okay, I'm glad we know what that sound was now. Um. More scobbles. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Harry's dead. 
Oh my gosh, that was terrible. Okay, I'm gonna deal with these little guys one at a time. Do I have to kill them, maybe? Do I put you back in the hole? Or do I throw you off the side? Harry. <laughs> Why'd you gotta do that, bud? I thought I could make it, but obviously not. Okay, cut. Cut. Kill. Kill. Die. Die. Okay, made it. Good job, Barry. Uh oh. Can't cramp. A pumpkin pasty. It says pastry, but we all know it's a pumpkin pasty. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember this part of Hogwarts. <laughs> School of witchcraft and witchery. Oh, I remember this part, though. No, no, I say for you to get jump back down. Why would you do that, Harry? <laughs> damage. That sure helps though. Bad, bad. Harry died. No. I'm kind of confused what I need to do here. Because I can't hold it for too long, but then I can't. I thought these things stayed upright. Harry. Why would you do that? Can I, I can at least skip this one, which is good. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, my fault. Oh. Oh my god. Move, 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 move. A pumpkin pasty. <laughs> oh, I was, forgot how close I was to death. Oh, I thought it was going to shoot at me. I was like, please don't. <laughs> what? Am I, please. <laughs> so, I don't need this right now. A cauldron cake. Good. Getting some of that health back up. Although the cauldron cakes suck. Two cauldron cakes, wish it was a pumpkin pasty, but I don't get my way. And then I need to cut the Coca-Cola espuma. Okay, I need to cut that, but it's kind of hard for me to aim. Oh, there we go. Thank you, camera angle. Whee! Yay! We. Such a such a cool puzzle. I like that one. See, the thing is, is me with those stupid fire things. That was me being stupid, not the fire things being stupid. Those are actually a pretty cool uh, hazard. It was just me not knowing how to time. Mastering wizard dueling reflects an opponent's spell back at them. Expelliarmus spell or Expelliarmus dueling charm lies at the heart of a good dueling technique. Expelliarmus allows the duelist to rebound an opponent's spell in the hope that the rebounded spell will strike the opponent and leave him or her vulnerable to further attack. Cool. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm getting whisked away. A gargus. A gargus. Oh, do I not have to awaken you? Do I need to fight you? Oh, this is, I don't remember this, but this is kind of a cool looking fight. Okay, I'm gonna assume we need this. So, uh, we probably don't need that. Okay, I gotta do like Ganondorf. I gotta play tennis. Miss. Ah. See, I can't do like you can in Ocarina of Time. You gotta do the sword technique where you wait till it gets to the tip of the big Goron sword before you whack back. Okay, this is not actually this is easier. I can just hold it and then it, it'll stick to me for a few seconds. Dead. Wow. Well, that's pretty cool, but uh, where do I go now? Do I need 
this. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. Oh, you knew that. Shut up. Now I think you can just exit. There you go, Harry. <laughs> Look at how beautiful he is. Yay! Levels! Richard. Chris. You know HP stands for Henry Peter. Many people don't know that. I'm one of the few. Well done, Potter. 40 house points for Ooh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. Before I started the video, I, I didn't want to start it halfway through it. I didn't know I so I ended the day last episode, of course, but when it, it was already loading into the next day before I could do anything. Uh we are in the house lead, but the points are a lot closer in this game than they were in the last one. We are one point above both uh, Ravenclaw and Slytherin, so the 40 points probably helps. Oh uh, yeah, I don't have, I don't have that. What am I supposed to <laughs> well, at least let me try okay. Good. Okay, I was holding the <laughs> X button. Okay. What the L? <sighs> okay, I guess I just need to watch where he shoots them, see if he shoots them back. Okay, I I blo I I blocked it. Cuts of an half. What? Come on, aim at me at least. Do like the gargoyle did. Wh what? What even? What's that bull crap? I'm holding. I'm holding it, dude. I'm holding it. I'm just gonna kill myself so I can redo it again. Uh, already going off to a great start. I'm dude, I am holding it. I don't remember this part being this hard. This is some bull crap, you know what I'm telling you. That was my fault. That wasn't my fault. You see, like, why doesn't it go towards me?
No, but that doesn't hit him, no. Oh my god, dude. Dude, come on. Egypt. I defended you, game. Don't. Don't fail me. You're failing me. <laughs> You're failing me. That's that's some utter boo, boo dookie. Maybe I just need to stand back further. Nope, not that. No, I'm, I'm just gonna look up. I'll be right back with y'all. I'll be, I'll, I'll be right, I'll be right back with y'all. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, apparently I'm looking online and it says there's a few different ways. Uh, I'm apparently not the only one that's having trouble with this. I don't remember having this much trouble with this part last time. But apparently one good way to do it is uh, just to shoot like hell at him. There's also one that's saying that you block him and right when you hit his spell back you shoot a flippendo at him. But I'm going to try the first option. Okay, we're gonna try the uh... Okay, we're gonna try the old Shoot Flipendo. Awesome. Okay, so that works. I just need to make sure I dodge correctly. Okay, okay. I think we can do it. We oh well we definitely can do it. We have to do it, because I'm not stopping until I do. Okay, I don't know why it's not aiming at him directly. That's my fault, but it doesn't feel like it. Okay. Come on, Harry. Get, get, get your head in the game. For the first time, we have the upper hand. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, we got him. Nice, nice, nice. Whew, that was hard. Uh-oh. <laughs> nope, and he's just dead. Anyway, we've got Quidditch 
I guess you've got a point. I'll meet you in the entrance hall, Harry. We got some Quidditch practice. Let's go do some Quidditch real quick. Oh, can't open the the slime chest. Yeah, I don't ever want to say slime chest again. That's not a sentence that's ever going to be uttered out of my lips again. I, mean, I saw a chest somewhere behind Ron, and now I don't see the chest. Oh, there it is. Open. Not that, but cool. Man, I, I love the, the lines. Okay, can't open that one. Cannot open the golden chest. Maybe I have to get a uh, Alohomora first. Let's go play some Quidditch. Let's go play some Quidditch. Let's go play some Quidditch and eat some spinach. Thank you very much. I'll be here all night. <laughs> Oh, you know that's a, <laughs> I I couldn't do a full series over that I don't think, but that's a, a game I have on here is uh, on the GameCube is the uh, Harry Potter Quidditch game. It's just Quidditch and it's really fun too. Maybe I'll do a a mini series of that. I mean I think there there might be a campaign though. I can I can look and see. I might be able to play the full thing. I'm not gonna just play GameCube though. I'm gonna play definitely play some new games and stuff. You know, I'd like to play some Switch games, but uh, right now uh, I don't have a Nintendo Switch that can be plugged into the TV. I only have a Switch Lite. I know, I know. Hey, I like it. It's portable. Okay, more portable than the normal Switch. Like I could probably fit an entire my my little Switch in my pocket. You can't do that with a full size Switch, or you probably can, but it'll be jutting out the top. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think about these things. But, uh, definitely like to play. Like, I wanna play Super Mario Sunshine, but I don't think I'm gonna play the GameCube version. I think I'm gonna play the, uh, 3D All Stars version. Where does this go to? Back above me. Is this the Quidditch? Nope. Forbidden Forest. Quidditch Stadium. There we go. I'm looking forward to this, aren't you? Let's go in. Ron, you won't play Quidditch until fifth year. You're just excited to watch me, because you know I'm better than you. Even though you technically, I guess you won more cups than I did, but still, okay. They should be saying Potter is our Listen king. Up, you lot. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. Okay, would I go it? Yes, thank you, right, man. We. That's good, Harry. Flying through each ring makes you Yes, faster, yes, it does. Wow, that's so cool. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Faster, you'll see the magical charge in your broom has increased too. You can see this in the trail the broom is leaving in the air behind you. Thank you, Wood. The magical charge in your broom is at maximum. You can now get that extra boost of speed. Okay, don't need that right now. <laughs> the magical charge in your room. Be hard to. Okay, so the quidditch is a little bit more interactive in this one. It's good to remember. You know, I say stuff like I haven't played this before, but it's been so long since I beat this game. And I've played it pretty recently, but I didn't get past the part where, uh, uh what's it called? I freed Neville, because I just 
put it down and then never picked it up again. I've done that multiple times. For some reason, I would always stop at that point. But, uh, yeah, I don't remember there being, like, the bludgers and stuff, but that's pretty cool. I'm trying to think when I beat this game. I beat this game before I even played the first one. And I, the last time I played the first one was when I was in 8th grade. So, uh, whatever time frame. So, I was probably, like, 6th, 5th grade, so back in like 2012 2013 so it's been a it's been a long time oh turbo front of the snitch. Nope. I keep boosting at that part. I need to not do that. I need to boost it uh, straight away. Ow. Hard being a seeker, man. I told him I was playing. I told him I was recording. And I still got time to record one more. Okay, you know the score. One opposing seeker, two bludgers, and two opposing beaters to contend with. Yes. All you have to do is catch the snitch. Yep. Did we, did, did, are we actually playing Quidditch now? I'm confused. Is this still practice? I don't, I don't know. We'll figure out. Problem was when I start getting this close to the snitch, I can't, uh, the rings don't spawn as fast as I need them to. Gotcha. Still confused. Is this still a practice game or? Superb performance, Harry. You receive an A plus. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could give me grades, Wood, but. To take with you. 
You'll be able to fly oh yeah, you can just fly around the map anywhere you want. Into too many of the towers. If you want to try and improve your Quidditch practice grade, come back and see me here at any time of the day. Uh, I think I'm good with an A, buddy. Well, I think that's about it for this episode, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, check out the description below to see my Instagram and Twitch links. And, uh... Hello there. Oh, wait, Come let's on, listen to this real quick. What's the matter? Malfoy showed up while you were practicing in the Quidditch Stadium. He's been made sea car. Can't three dazzle his way onto the team with a whole set of Nimbus 2001. Hermione said something about it, but he called her a filthy mudblood. A what? A mudblood? It's a really disgusting name for someone who was born with non-magical parents. There are some Thank you, Ron. Like Malfoy's family. You think they're better than everyone else? Anyway, it's a horrible thing to say. If it hadn't been for Hagrid showing up, I'd have cursed him. He's not worth the trouble, Ron. I suppose you're right. Okay. Alrighty then. Now we're finally done, guys. But yeah, uh, have a good day.